Okay, so this is the problem. This is uh, now we'll talk about smart and micro grids. We are actually in future we'll need peer to peer renewable energy trading systems uh, more than small scale, scale versions of uh, centralized electricity system. We'll need diversity, diversification of energy sources, cost reductions, and you know something that can be established by and in a community. Same like the bulk power grid, uh, but uh, smart microgrids generate, distribute, and regulate the flow of electricity. But they do all these things locally. We'll see a small video. Let's face it. No serious. Microgrids harness green sourced energy like solar and wind to provide 100% renewable energy to smaller community based systems with the help of smart buildings, public facilities, campuses, communities, and consumers. A sustainable balance can be achieved between sources and energy consuming devices. And we can do it here in California in 10 years or less if we choose. And when we microgrid California, the nation and the world will follow. Now, you're probably asking, how much will this cost? It won't cost the average citizen, the ratepayer, anything more than you are already spending for your energy. Committing to clean energy microgrids would explode growth in private and public infrastructure. As our system becomes more efficient and renewable infrastructure expands, Unused energy can be stored in standard batteries or a growing array of clean storage technologies. It can also be converted into hydrogen reserves that provide extended security against outages, natural disasters, seasonal variation, or cyber attack. We can even sell the excess hydrogen as fuel to power our cars, buses, trains, and our entire transportation system. All this with no additional cost to the ratepayer. Now we'll talk about the future. Mm. So, this is great. This is a uh, dual axis solar tracker. Just like a sunflower, a tracker gets extra energy from the sun because it's always facing the sun. It follows the orientation and the track of the sun throughout the day. In the evening, as the sun sets, the tracker goes into sleep mode. The mechanism that uh, moves the tracker is a small electric motor powered by the solar panels and a hydraulic pump. The tracker has an anemometer that tells it when wind speeds are extremely high. It goes flat. So a simple solar tracker uh, can increase the efficiency by 40% and the prices increase almost by 10 to, no, almost 20 to 30% mm, than the actual prices. I don't know if solar tracking panels are available in India, but they are available out of India. Uh, this is good, great for people living in metro cities. For the same area, they can produce more power. They are both of uh, single and dual axis uh, solar trackers. Single axis only rotate like east to west and dual axis rotate in all four directions. These technology can really multiply our efficiency both in um, transmission and um, distribution. So in artificial intelligence, it increases sophistication of expert systems. So not only sophistication, it can help in better predictions. Blockchain is the is the key to smart grids in the future. You know? we, we would really love to have control over whom we are buying from. If it's a coal farm or a solar farm. Uh, the, also the transactions of non-monetary assets like energy will be crucial in the future. And blockchain will be the key. Robotics. Okay, robotics is the 
most growing technology in the solar industry right now this operation and maintenance it is crucial it is very very crucial graphene has 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 shown a potential in transparent electrodes as a replacement for indium tin oxide in polymer based solar cells we'll see how it works Scientists in China are producing solar panels that can produce energy from the last source you'd expect when we're talking about solar energy, rainwater. In a typical solar panel, photons from a light source knock electrons free from atoms within the panel, and the action generates a flow of electricity. Although solar power technology has been getting increasingly efficient, there's still the tiny problem that solar cells can't produce any power when it's raining. Researchers are introducing a new type of solar panel by adding a layer of graphene or carbon atoms arranged in a honeycomb structure to desensitize solar cells. A flexible layer of indium tin oxide and plastic is included underneath. Graphene has unusual properties that allow electrons to move freely throughout the entire layer. Rainwater contains positively charged ions like ammonium, calcium, and sodium. When water binds to the panel surface, a double layer of positive ions and negatively charged electrons is created, which ends up producing a voltage and current. Tests of the new solar panels have been able to produce hundreds of microvolts, which is small even compared to a standard AA battery. So there is a long way to go before the new solar panels become more widely used, but more efficient future versions could mean big things for the solar industry. China powers on world's largest floating solar farm. China just flipped the on switch on their latest green energy project. A new floating solar farm constructed on a lake in Huainan City in central China is said to be the largest in the world. It is made up of 160,000 solar panels. These panels can produce electricity for up to 15,000 homes. The farm is connected to a city where some two and a half million people reside. The panels are placed at varying depths over the lake. The water helps cool the electronics in the devices and stops them from overheating. Solar energy, like wind, is sporadic and environmentally dependent, meaning the amount of power panels can gather may sometimes fluctuate depending on the weather. France planning to pave roads with solar panels. The French government is set to go ahead with energy plans to pave 1,000 kilometers of its country's roads with solar panels. France's energy minister, Ségolène Royal, made the announcement last month, saying she expects tests to begin as soon as this spring. The panels are made by Cola, a subsidiary of French industrial giant Bouygues, and took five years to develop. These 7 millimeter thick wattway solar panels contain photovoltaic cells, which collect solar energy through a thin layer of polycrystalline silicon. The panels will be glued to existing road surfaces and can withstand the passage of heavy goods vehicles. The manufacturers say road surfaces are occupied by vehicles only around 10% of the time, so the panels will get plenty of exposure to the sun. The panels can provide electricity for street lights, street furniture, road signs, and buildings. The manufacturers say four meters of solarized road can power one household, and one kilometer can produce enough electricity for a town of 5,000 people. If it reaches its maximum potential, the plan could provide electricity for 5 million people, or about 8% of France's population. The cost of the project is unknown, but the French government has suggested it could pay for it by raising taxes on petrol. Last year, the world's first road to convert sunlight into electricity opened on a 100-meter stretch of carriageway in the Netherlands. Automation is really going to be huge. Uh, just uh, this is the fact that just a gram of dust per square meter on a solar panel area can reduce, reduce efficiency by almost 40%. Cinco Solar uh, currently holds the new record for solar cell efficiency at 40, uh, sorry, 23.45 percent. This is they were only being uh, they were only able to achieve this uh, through the application of advanced advanced technologies such as intelligent mobile devices, IoT devices, mobile robots in its manufacturing process. This uh, Tongwei Solar uh, it also unveiled its the first unmanned, fully automated monocrystalline cell production line. Uh, these kind of robots, Delta, Scara, Cartesian, robotic arms, these, these, are, these are quite useful in the automation of the production lines of solar cells. One of the most well-known robot companies is, is this uh, ABB in the solar photovoltaic market. They, they produce the robots for this uh, stuff. We require almost 500 to 700 billion dollars in the renewable energy sector in, in the next decade uh, to reach the targets to better our grids and all those things and uh, yeah. this is the, our, our our country is attracting healthy uh, glo global investment now there are only two types mm, 
on grid and off grid on grid is basically connected to the grid but uh, you'll you'll face power cuts uh, when the government cuts it uh, like you cannot <laughs> it's the same just that you have solar on your they, there will be two meters which which will give you the net net power that you have generated and you will only have to pay for it it's nice but uh, yeah not un- always 100% renewable off grid requires batteries it is difficult and expensive than on grid but it is 100% renewable companies and jobs there are you know this is the one of the most multiplying sectors with jobs almost 20 to 70% growth rate uh, for jobs uh, depending on where you live in the world uh, there are different jobs there are different high level jobs Um, engineering technician it specialist project developer power systems engineer systems designer all of these they pay huge and these jobs are growing each year by leaps and bounds we'll discuss about this 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 is this is a project in near jodhpur this is really good really good almost uh, 10000 acres is used uh, the total capacity is 2245 megawatts the land was almost unlivable due to its climate it was uh, done in four phases uh, 250 megawatts 450 megawatts then 700 uh, sorry then 1000 then 700 the cost is it cost government almost 10000 crores mm. 1.4 billion something dollars cost of uh, electricity it can produce is almost 4 crores daily uh this plant fitness one of the lowest bids for traffic so of almost 2.44 rupees per kilowatt in the world uh being prone to the dust storms ecopia uh, a pv comp- pv panel cleaning solution developer provided automated cleaning solutions for this plant for this plant mm. rajasthan tripled uh, tripled its solar capacity in just 3 years mainly due to this plant mm. going towards the end we will compare this this is a little comparison but i think it's significant because we have a lot of area and we st- our capacity is still so low in in, in the uh, first half of 2019 germany produced almost only 30% of its uh, all the power from coal that is uh, from polluting sources gas is good nuclear is good renewables are of course they are better than anything mm-hmm. but now what we need is that the the government each state should start behaving like an independent country in case of power generation and each district should start behaving like a state you know they should they should they should really start getting self sustainable in in their uh, generation and usage germany now plans to almost um, cut this 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 uh, coal by 2030 they'll they'll produce all of their electricity with renewable sources mm, this is great next thing uh, okay conclusion uh, the challenges are huge okay so but we have a fighting chance we should uh, really advocate solar and wind being used in the day and nuclear energy powering the nights all of us mm. and we'll create the change that we aspire thank you